Hey, good evening, everybody. Hi, Axel. How's everything going with you? Get ready for your show. I, I entered a contest here in the Phoenix area to win some tickets to your show in Las Vegas, and uh, I was able to get at least two entries in, so maybe I'll see you there. I don't know. I hope so. It'll be a lot of fun. Tonight, I am going to make a little bit of a rack of lambs, a little, little baby lamb. And we are still in October, so it's still October on process, so everything that you see is going to be as unprocessed as possible. We're going to start with the lamb, and I'm going to put this, we're going to have it on the grill, so we're going to grill it first. Uh, we're going to grill it, not first, but we're going to brush it first with a little bit of olive oil. I just put on a, a brush, and this is, like I mentioned, a regular paintbrush that you get at Home Depot or Ace Hardware. Just brush it all around so you get it all nice and coated. Lamb is uh, kind of expensive, but you can get it sometimes on special, which I did, and uh, then it's a really nice treat. Salt and pepper on your lamb. And then the zest of two lemons, so you just grate the zest off and I'm going to just rub that all around on the meaty part of my lamb. I'm going to avoid the skin area here, but I'm going to rub it all over the, the meaty part. There we go. Okay. Now, since it's going to be barbecued, we don't want its skinny little legs to burn. See so little bony things? So I am going to give them a little uh, a little treatment like you would if you're getting your hair dyed. <laughs> so I'm going to cover the little legs with some tin foil just so that they don't get black. Okay. See there? And that should stay on fine as long as you don't mess around with it too much. Okay, so that's going to go on the grill. Then they're going to take not too long. Uh, lamb can be served pretty rare, so we're just going to give it a nice sear and then let it cook and uh, not get too cooked all at once. While we're doing that, we are going to make a reduction of some pomegranate juice and wine. We're going to add some herbs to that and some whole pomegranate berries to finish it off. So it's going to be really pretty. And then we're going to serve that up with some Brussels sprouts and green beans. So stay tuned. I'm going to get that out onto the grill. We'll be right back. While the lamb is grilling, I'm going to make a reduction of pomegranate juice and some wine. Now, I bought the pomegranates, not whole, but seeded already from Fresh and Easy, and they had, it was a big container of it, so I didn't have any pomegranate juice, so what I do is I just blend it up in my handy dander. Uh, you probably all have one of those magic bullets that you bought, like we did online on the CBS. So I used my magic bullet and I ground up everything that I had and then I strained it through a fine mesh strainer. So I got enough juice out of that to be able to make the reduction. So about a half a cup or so of the juice I'm going to put in here. And the same amount of some wine. And this is a Petite Syrah. It's some nice red wine that you have. Equal amounts. There we go. And I'm going to turn that on and then I'm not going to have it on too high, but we want it to reduce till it's reduced down to about a half a cup. So that's what we're going to do with that. While our lamb is cooking and I'm going to make the Brussels sprouts. We're going to cook the Brussels sprouts. Now, probably last time you had a Brussels sprout was when your mom made you eat them when you were a kid and you've hated them ever since and you swore them off but I have to tell you there's a better way first thing we're going to do a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil we're going to put them in a, in a pan let that melt down heat up I've trimmed the Brussels sprouts and then quartered the bigger ones the smaller the better but you know sometimes you can't avoid it so just quarter them up and we're going to pan roast them and you will love them you will love them i guarantee it everybody's had a brussels sprout in my house i said 
we love them. So you will too. We're going to let this cook down. There we go. In the meantime, we've reduced the sauce, the pomegranate and wine. So we've reduced it real, oh, it's beautiful too. It's a nice little syrup. So we're going to turn the heat back on to that, get that ready to go. Got this on a, a fairly about medium high. And we're going to add all the Brussels sprouts into the pan. And then we're going to toss it. Let all that good butter and oil get onto the Brussels sprouts. And then we're just going to let it cook. We want as much of the Brussels sprout to reach the bottom of the pan so it gets a nice caramelization on that. So just like that. So in the meantime, I'm going to turn the heat back on the sauce. Oh, it's so pretty too. Can you even see that? It's so, so nice. We're going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and just stir it up. Oh, it's so pretty too. After the butter, butter, after the butter melts in the pomegranate reduction, I'm going to add some rosemary, nice fresh rosemary leaves from my plant out front. Rosemary goes grows great in Arizona, it really does. Okay. You can see that some of the Brussels sprouts are starting to get a little brown on the edges. That's exactly what you want. Whoa, baby. So we brought this gorgeous little piece of lamb in from the barbecue. I'm going to take its its little tin foil hat off. <laughs> no aliens will get my lamb with the tin foil hat. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So we have a beautiful lamb. We're going to let that sit for a minute because when you let meat that's been roasted or barbecued sit, it, all the juices go back into the meat, so you leave it alone. But in the meantime, we are still cooking the Brussels sprouts. Look how beautiful they are. What I like to do with that, yeah. I am unprepared. You get a little bit of water. Put a little bit of water into the pan. A little bit. Hear that sizzle? Yeah. Cover. We're going to steam those vegetables just a little bit so that they're going to be cooked at the same time as the rest of our food. We have the sauce. I added a little bit of lemon juice. We have lemon on the lamb, lemon zest, but I added a little bit of lemon juice. It needed just a little touch of it, so I added that. So we have the Brussels sprouts that are cooking. We have the reduction, the wine, and pomegranate, and we are resting the meat. We are almost ready to go. And look, it's 6.30. It is a weeknight, and look, you can do this. You can. It's good. Okay, we're going to carve into this baby. Look how gorgeous the meat is. Carve off a little lamb chop right here. Hopefully, around the bone. Yeah, there we go. And one. Two. Oh, wow. Look at that. Perfect. Take the plate. We have a little bit of the reduction. Put some lamb right here. Fresh rosemary. Like this. 
some parsley. And some of the pomegranate seeds. Wow. Brussels sprouts right here, folks. A little bit of sea salt on the Brussels sprouts to finish them off. And we have a beautiful, I think you need to come in for a close-up. Okay, look at this. We have absolutely beautifully cooked lamb chops. And some nice rosemary, parsley, pomegranate reduction, and then over here, the Brussels sprouts, and I guarantee you're going to love them. I hope you have a good night. Axel, wherever you are, I hope you're having a good night. Enjoy your dinner. Good night, everybody.